Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube. It's Christie's show day weekend. Woo woo woo. So I'm gonna vlog. Um, it is Saturday evening. He competes tomorrow morning, afternoon in PCA Manchester. He's driven up to Manchester to get his uh, base coat of tan now. He decided he didn't want to get a hotel. Um, he wants to sleep in his own bed, which is completely fair enough. Manchester is like an hour and 15 from us, so it's not too bad. But I have agreed to drive him. So tomorrow um, is going to be a very long day because obviously I'm not competing. So I still have steps, etc. to do. So I'm going to have to get up at like 5 a.m. to get some steps in. So I'll bring you guys along with me and show you how, how I get on in the day with getting everything done um, but also how Christy gets on um so yeah he's driven up to get his base coat and um, I've had a very busy day today I'm actually on a high day today um I'll update you on how my check-in and stuff went yesterday as well as we go through the vlog when I get a minute um but I just thought I'd pick up the camera quickly otherwise because I'm so busy like I knew I wouldn't pick the camera up if I didn't do it now um and end up missing the whole day so um while he's getting his tan, I'm baking because he really wanted me to bake some stuff. So I'm going to be baking. I'm not going to show you everything that I'm doing um, with the baking, but I will show you the finished product. Hopefully they turn out. Again, I'm making something I've never made before, but um, hopefully they'll work out. Um, I might be making two things. I'm going to see how I go time-wise and how long the first thing takes me. Also, I got my nails done and I think these are my favorite nails I've ever had. They are so cute. Um two of my nails broke so these are my own nails and I was very upset because I've had builder for ages and I've spent ages growing them they were so long and beautiful and I've had to have them all snapped off so anyway um it's fine um I need to run to Tesco because I literally just need a little bit of brown sugar I've only had two meals today which is so bad but I've just been so busy with Christy competing tomorrow I've been trying to get stuff sorted and help him with everything he needs to do so yeah, I'm gonna nip to Tesco, get the bits I need, and then the first bake is going down. I'll probably eat a meal quickly as well before I before I do that meal, or before I do that cake. Yeah, today, my fatigue has been like, out of 10, probably like a 9.5. Today's probably been the worst I've ever felt, this whole prep. Um, I could barely keep my eyes open. I'm so weak and drained, like I'm just completely not on this planet. So, oh, a fly. Sorry, a fly just touched my hand. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun one and I need to be up so early tomorrow, so I wanna get an early night, so I'm gonna have to get everything done quickly. Quick time, quick time, quick time. Let me go, let's go to Tesco, let's get the bits. Let's come back and bake. This is everything I've got so far. So obviously, all of my like basic stuff and then dark chocolate, Biscoff, Oreo, white chocolate, milk chocolate, they're not going in there. Um, Biscoff, also got cream cheese uh, and white chocolate chunks. So there is a lot of stuff here. Um, I've got my butter on the side because I want it to be room temperature and that should be fine by the time I get back. Um, and then I'll preheat the oven and we'll get going and I'll show you when they're done. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the next day. It's literally 10 to seven in the morning um, and I've just left Pure Gym. I've done 7,500 steps, which I'm really happy with. I need to um, go home now, um, get dressed, get ready, and we need to leave at 8.15. Christy actually got the time for the time wrong, so we were originally meant to be there at half eight, but it's not till half nine, so it meant that I didn't have to get up until 5.30 as opposed to five. Not a huge difference, but um, the extra half an hour was good. So baking yesterday went really well. Um, the cookies, he wants them baked fresh tonight, so the dough is frozen. Um, so I'll cook them from frozen later, so I'll show you. But the Oreo cheesecake brownies are ready, and I need to cut them up when I get in and portion them out some to bring with us, because I think he's promised some to some friends or something I don't know but um so I'll show you what they look like hopefully they're good um and then I need to make myself look somewhat decent and then we need to go the weather's crap which I'm gutted about because I really didn't want it to rain today I wanted it to be nice weather for him um you know so we can get good pictures of him outside and um all of that stuff so hopefully it perks up because I just want him to have like a nice sunny show day um but this is the UK and it's September. What what are we going to do?
Okay guys, Christy's still asleep and also the lighting in here is horrific, but I'm just gonna quickly show you the brownies because I'm cutting them up. They look amazing. Okay guys, I've just pulled up at the Middlestone Arena. Christy has jumped out of the car to go and get his tan because we were stuck in the worst traffic. He's actually half an hour late for his tan, but it was not my fault. Um, it's absolutely lush and rain, and I need to go and locate some Lucasade Sport for him, and I need a wee. So I'm gonna leg at the Tesco, but I've got a class parking space. That's the venue, this is me. Um, so shout out to Christy's client Grant who actually gave up his parking space so we could have his. Um, but yeah, hopefully I don't get drenched. I'm gonna crack on and I'll see you in a minute. Nice, front double. Very nice. Throw that quad out to the front. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Hold that. This is what it's like to be at a bodybuilding show. <laughs> and then we've got nakedness here. Tan drying lady. It's all popping off. <laughs>
morning guys coming at you from a very gross weather day the weather has been so crappy um so last clips were of christie's show day it's been quite a few days since then so proud of him he absolutely nailed this prep he's been working so so hard since pretty much january um i'm absolutely over the moon that he decided to go with josh because anyone who knows me knows that i seriously rate josh so highly and um, i think he's an amazing coach um he was one of the first coaches i ever had um and there's a reason why i went back to him and um, he is so so good um so i think him and christy work really well together and since i've been with christy he hasn't been able to find a, co a coach that suits him so i'm buzzing that he's working with josh and he's happy with josh and they brought something really great to stage it was so incredibly competitive huge huge well done to ewan who's one of our really close friends who plays second um it was definitely competitive between the three of them um it was a very competitive class even though there was only four of them i think the four of them there was a fourth guy as well obviously um who didn't place but um he was a big guy as well um but yeah christy decided after the show that you know he wants to be a little bit bigger that you know these guys were just a little bit bigger than him and if he wants to um um come back better for the rest of his shows he would have to put on a bit of size which obviously you can't do in the space of a few weeks or a couple of months you know and um, so he's decided to go into his off season which is a bit sad because it means that i'm not competing with him this year again uh, so this will be my second prep where I'm meant to do shows with Christy and I end up not doing any shows with Christy. But, um, you know, they're his goals, they're his aspirations and if that's what he wants to do, then um, I'm obviously going to fully support that. Um, he did have um, an off-plan meal but he had homemade burgers. He made chicken um, burgers. I gave him a recipe for some um, chicken tenders which is basically like you just coat them in cornflakes, put them in the air fryer, a little bit of honey and chilli. Um, anyway he had that in a burger bun and two homemade beef burgers um, and then he had um, a ninja creamy with um, the homemade cookies that I made and a brownie so he had a brownie and two cookies um, and yeah then he was back on plan um, so he's in his off season now which is super exciting um, but all in all it was um, a fab weekend and I'm I was absolutely shattered after it which is why I didn't pick up the camera when we got home from the show I was wrecked like honestly wrecked um so yeah I didn't pick up my camera but that's that Christie's prep's done and dusted and now I'm up next um what I'll do is I will post um my check-in from friday i'll put the pictures here and my weigh-in from here so this is me at five weeks out um very 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 exciting i did have two high days um the weekend of the show so the saturday and sunday which helped because it was such a long long weekend um and i was on my feet literally all day on sunday um christy was late for his tan because there was really bad traffic i think i mentioned it in the blog um and they were saying that he would have to wait and we didn't know whether or not he'd be able to get his tan done so when i tell you i was running around the middleton arena trying to find tan to be able to tan christy just seeing if anyone has tan and i've learned a lesson now um and i'm always going to make sure that i have my pro tan from compact in my bag um just in case you know anything happens or anything goes wrong it's super important to be able to make sure you can tan yourself so that's going in my emergency bag for show day um but yeah, I'm happy with where I'm at. Five weeks out, I'm going to see, um, have an in-person check-in with Josh next week and all the rest of it. So happy with where I'm at. In the next vlog, I will um, take you guys with me because I have a photo shoot. Um, I have an in-person check-in with Josh um, and I'll show you my check-ins and all the rest of it. But yeah, five weeks out in this vlog. Crazy thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe like the video and um, drop a comment below if there's anything else you want to see and other than that thank you so much for watching i really appreciate every single person who likes watches subscribes shares um and comes along this journey with me but yeah see you in the next one